Let's get started. Create a new composition. Press Ctrl N or go to Composition, click New. Rename it to Plastic. For this composition, I'm using 1980 by 1080 pixels. Frame per second is 30 and duration of this composition is 30 seconds. Click OK. Right click on the timeline. Add a new solid layer. Rename it to Tau. Go to Effects and Presets and add a trap code Tau effect on this layer. Go to Path Masks. Change position to 960 and 534. Go to Segment. Change segments to 1280. Change sides to 340. Uncheck Break Sides, Chamfer and Caps. Change size 330. Go to Fractal Displacement. Change Fractal Type to Multi Smooth Ridge. Change Space to Segment. Change Amplitude to Minus 45. Change Frequency to 100. Move the timeline to zero frames. Click stopwatch next to evolution. Change its value to 500. Now go to 450 frames. Change its value to zero. Move the timeline to zero frames and click stopwatch next to offset Z. Change its value to 1334. Now move the timeline to 450 frames. Change its value to 0. Change complexity to 7. Change October multiply to 0 0.6. Change smooth and normals to 2.6. Go to seamless loop. Change loop evolution to 500. And change loop Z to 1334. Go to individual amp and frequency. Change amplitude X and amplitude Z to zero. Go to material and lighting. Change color to 25, 100 and 100. Change Fresnel to 93, and Diffuse Holdout to 25. Go to Image Based Lighting. Change Built In Environment to Dark Industrial. Change Expose Environment to 2.2. Change Diffuse Strength to 457. Go to Texture and change Texture Scale Y to 100. Go to Shader. Change Shader to Smooth. Go to World Transform. Change World Rotate Z to minus 71. Go to Rendering. Change Super Sample to 9x. Go to Effects and Presets. Add Brightness and Contrast effect to this layer. Change Brightness to 80. Now add Vibrance effect to this layer. 
Change vibrance to 100. Add hue saturation effect to this layer. Change master hue to minus 5 and master saturation to 18. Right click on the timeline and add a camera layer to the timeline. Go to camera transform. Change point of interest to 887, 531 and minus 82. Change position to 770, 1379 and minus 547. Now play this animation. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.